We all saw the image on our screen. Three-year-old Mariah Woods dressed in a fur with a tiara, riding a Beauty and the Beast big wheels. It was the picture that captured the heart of the nation after Onslow County investigators issued it to the media to help locate the toddler who vanished in the middle of the night from her home. WNCT's Courtney Allen takes a look back at the Mariah Woods case in this year-ender. Monday, November 27th, a day many remember across the East. Next at 6, the search for Mariah, new information about the efforts to find a missing three-year-old girl in Onslow County. It was the day three-year-old Mariah Woods was reported missing from her Dawson Cabin Road home. About 6.30 or 6.45, Onslow County Sheriff's Office, through dispatch, got a call. That call came from Mariah's mother, Christy Woods, and her mom's live-in boyfriend, Earl Henry. I love her. I'll do anything that I can, whatever you want. Just break her home, please. Safe and sound. She's my baby. She's my everything. An Amber Alert was issued that morning, which turned into nearly a week-long search through Onslow County, led by multiple agencies with help from the public. 730 volunteers help us today. 730 people. The story quickly caught the attention of a national audience. Authorities say there was no sign of forced entry, but the back door was unlocked. DeMarco Morgan, CBS News, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Kimry was arrested overnight Friday and charged with removing Mariah's body from the scene of her death and concealing her death knowing she died of unnatural causes. The following day, authorities announced what everyone feared. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sad to report to you that we have recovered what we believe are the remains of little Mariah Woods. Mariah's body was found in Shelter Creek in Pender County Saturday evening, nearly a week after she was reported missing. I was hoping that they found her alive and, and well. Many across the East said the heartbreaking story hit close to home for them. The little girl was only three years old, and I have a little 18-month-old girl, and it's just hard because it's a child. My heart shattered. This could have been any of our child. And as time went on, she became our child. As a result, a memorial was created and several vigils were held. The community really, really fell in love with this little girl and love her as if she was our own daughter. Organizers had the goal of raising enough money to create a permanent memorial so that although she's gone, she's never forgotten. In the arms of the angel. Courtney Allen, Nine on Your Side.